The big challenge, especially for rural counties in Georgia, is being able to maintain your roads, your local roads. In Lumpkin County, we've got over 400 miles of local roads. And without the T-SPLOSS, we were on an unsustainable course to be able to maintain that many miles of road. We simply just did not have the money to do so. Basically, the money that we were using was coming from the tax digest. So it was the local people, the property tax owners, that were paying for the paving of those roads. So since we've implemented the T-SPLOSS, we've seen a tremendous improvement in our roads and the safety and the number of miles that we can pave annually. We made numerous improvements such as roundabouts and safety upgrades to some of our local roads and it's, it's just been a tremendous help. Nobody really likes to vote for a tax, but I do believe that the most fair tax that you can pass is a sales tax because it gives everybody the opportunity and doesn't just leave the burden on the property tax owners of the county. We lowered our millage rate by one mil when we passed the T-SPLOSS. So less burden on the, the property tax owners and more of a distribution of the cost among all the people in the county and those who visit. If you're gonna keep up with your roads and not fall behind, you've gotta have that money from somewhere. And you know, the T-SPLOSS has been phenomenal for the citizens of Lumpkin County to help us keep our roads current. We're anticipating $68,700,000 for the county and the city to be collected from that one cent sales tax. We'd ask citizens to seriously consider all the pros that are associated with this. We want to be able to fix all of our roadways and intersections, and this will give us the opportunity to go and do that.